What is up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. It is Thursday, March 15th. Today is my birthday. And um, this is going to be a Crash of the Titans reset video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, if you like what you see, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It helps us grow the online community for Marvel Puzzle Quest and helps us reach other questers just like yourself. I apologize for not getting this video out yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, because uh, two nights ago we had to put one of my dogs down, which was really hard. <clears throat> and um, so I didn't make a video yesterday, um, but uh, we're going to get it done today, and uh, we're going to move on. So um, just want to say um, our dog Stitch is uh, a French Bulldog. I uh, loved him very much. He was a good dog. He was a rescue. And any time that you can uh, adopt a rescue early, uh, <clears throat> it means a lot. To them and 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 it makes a, a special place in, in your heart for them as well so um just rest in peace buddy but uh moving on from that um the heroes for higher store <clears throat> there is this shield level seven pack um, which has a really good value for 30 bucks you get three four star covers and then uh, actually, you get six four-star covers between Riri and War Machine, and then you get nine Model 40 Iron Man covers as well. So if you're championing him or want to add some levels, you can absolutely do that. Um, it comes with a legendary token, uh, ten elite tokens, uh, or heroic tokens, uh, 4,200 hero points, and 58,000 ISO, which is a really good deal. Um, oops. The... Uh, Five star available here is a uh, Ghost Rider and Archangel. There is no four star, unfortunately. I think that is a glitch. If we go to Recruit Heroes and check out the Taco Vault, that's where you will also find uh, <clears throat> the four star required, which this week is, uh, or for this cycle, five day cycle, is Spider Gwen, as you can see there. I do have Spider Gwen, um, I think at level 200. We're pretty close to it, so this should be hopefully um, somewhat of an easy match. Uh, Crash the Titans with four star Miles Morales, so this is an alternate Spider Verse um, character, Spider Gwen versus Miles. And then uh, the rewards, of course, include full progression points 22,000 for daily quest, and then uh, latest legends recruit tokens. So we're gonna get this uh, hopefully knocked out quickly before work, and then. Um, otherwise I'll have to pick this back up on lunch, which I don't always like to do. Um, but I do have her at 13 covers. She is at level 200. Or, oh, she's not at 13 covers, she's at 12. So I actually need that purple cover. Um, and, uh, but Cherry Bomb is her high damage ability, so that's good that that is what is level 5. Um, Teenage Kicks for 6 purple AP, stuns for 1 turn, converts 1 tile into a web tile. Um, at higher levels, this stuns for more and then um, converts more web tiles. This stuns two random enemies for two turns at level 5. It's really powerful. Um, Cherry Bomb for 12 red AP um, can be a minimum of 6 per um, if there are web tiles on the board to reduce the cost. Deals 8,188 damage to the enemy um, <clears throat> and then removes a web tile, I think. Uh, yeah, just one. Kick out the jams. Uh, for 6 yellow, um, has two abilities that goes with it, uh, converts two basic tiles to web tiles and then fortifies one of them, and then whenever web tile is matched, get a boost of 730 health. Um, at level 5, it converts three basic tiles to web tiles, still fortifies only one, but then the health boost goes up to 1198 at this level. So, um, she's a part of Heroes, Spider-Verse, and Team Cap for abilities that matter or events that make a difference. Sitting at just over 10,000 health. Um, Miles at 270 has uh, almost 14,000 health. Hide and seek. Whoops. Do to do. Come on, com link. Um, <clears throat> hide and seek we know is a dual purpose ability. Um, 
I think it's 6 AP to use it um, initially, which um, makes him invisible. He can only be targeted by team like AOE damage or by removing the invisibility tile. And then it's going to convert some tiles to web tiles. Uh, once he uh, uses that ability again, which I believe is an 8 AP cost, um, which is different from like uh, Iceman or Build a Snowman and Punch a Snowman, both cost the same at 6 blue. Um, this one costs a little bit more. Um, so it does have a base damage, which I'm not sure what it's going to be because of this whole situation. <clears throat> and then also has uh, extra damage, I think, per web tile. And let's see. I'm just going to go off memory here, but his yellow ability, um, I think it's called Greater Responsibility or something like that. And it uh, is going to create a bunch of web tiles on the board. <clears throat> which is good for us because it also reduces cost of cherry bomb, which is what we need. Um, and then uh, if he, if any of the web tiles are matched, he does gain AP um, in specific colors, uh, purple and red. Uh, I think the amounts vary based on what level it is. And then uh, his Venom Blast red ability um, has a stun and damage component, which... Again, I can't really tell you off the top of my head at level 270 because this thing is taking forever to reconnect. So I think what I'm going to have to do is actually what I said I didn't want to do um, and pick this back up over lunch and then uh, finish this video. So I was hoping to get it knocked out before 8 o'clock this morning, but time is ticking and as you can see we don't have a game. So um, we'll get through this, we'll jump into the fight first thing and then I'll edit this in. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyways, see you in a few. All right, we are back. I'm on lunch, and uh, we're going to get to this Deadpool's Daily and hopefully knock it out in the next 10 minutes so that I can go clock in. All right, so spider Gwen. already been through this. Uh, Miles Morales, his abilities. Uh, we talked about hide-and-seek, power and responsibility. Uh, he gains one purple, one red. That's what I needed. And then uh, stun for one turn, which can still be very dangerous in a 1v1 fight, but luckily it's not multiple turns. We're going to try this a clean run with no boosts, but I have a feeling we're going to have to come back and do that at some point. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with this. Ooh, almost had a critical there. Thank goodness it cascaded down. Definitely one purple. And he set up that red for us nicely. Hopefully he doesn't take that top one. Ooh, which he did not. Which means I get it. <clears throat> Move that down so we can keep an eye on his health there. Uh, uh, nothing super good. I guess I'll take that. Alright, and then that does allow us to hit him one time. We'll do that before he gets invisible. He's almost at enough purple. Uh, matching these tiles is going to grant him purple AP, so we want to avoid letting him get that as much as we can. Ooh, the sun came out. It was a little bit of a cloudy day. Let me move over here. Okay. <clears throat> much better. Sorry about that uh, there. So we're going to avoid web tiles. And we're going to let him take as much of this other unimportant tiles as we can let him get. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this because it gives me yellow. And it doesn't count to give him that AP, as you see, if it's matched with the match four. Um, but him matching web tiles does give me health. So that's a win-win there. Take this red. And he's going to go invisible like a turd, but hopefully that invisibility tile is easy enough to get to. Uh, actually, it should be. Oh no! I didn't... Uh, shoot. So I did get purple there, but wasn't able to match that tile away. Let's do this. We're going to get to that tile eventually. Um, 
or he's just going to hit me for a whole heck of a lot. Surprise is going to deal uh, 2670 plus an additional 902. Ooh, almost an extra thousand per each web tile. And then removes it. So that's one, two, three web tiles on the board. That's 3,000. I can survive that hit. So I actually want him to do this. Eight purple AP. I'm going to let him. Um, and then oh, but he's going to stun me first. So that's extra damage. I can still take that hit. That gets that out of the way. He doesn't have enough to use it again. All right, and then we're gonna do this. <clears throat> Stun, create a web tile. Boom. First run. Under four minutes. Get that legendary token. Get those progression rewards. Ta-da! And I guess a lot of people, according to the uh, Facebook page, uh, MPQ is life I've seen, have struggled with this. So, oh, hey, 20 Alliance members all played in the last 24 hours. That's awesome. Thanks, guys, so much for that. Um, hey, this can be a struggle. If he gets invisible and you don't have the means to hit him because Gwen does not have an AoE attack, um, that can be really difficult to compete against. So let's go back. Oh, still no Gwen in the Heroes for Hire store. Would have been nice to have the extra cover, but apparently I didn't need it, so that's okay. Latest Legends does have 1 in 20 chance to drop a bonus hero for any 4 or 5 stars you've selected. 1 in 7 for the last 3 5 stars, which includes Archangel, Ghost Rider, and Thor. Does not have Jessica Jones in there yet. She'll come with probably the next update. And then uh, 4 times higher odds, which is better than it used to be 3 times higher odds, I think, for the uh, 12 most recent. Um, 4 stars. So I think that's a change, which I'm happy with. Um, it's an invisible woman, which I'm not happy with, but I got a bonus, America Chavez, which I need that cover. So I'm happy with the bonus. I'll take the bonus. Oops, uh, that guy. Uh, roster. <clears throat> and we will add in America Chavez red cover. So she's a 110 build currently. That punch everyone is a passive. All her abilities are passive. This one increases match damage by 7% for each AP she has in that color. Um, so this works well. Um, the longer you hold on to abilities towards the end of a fight, um, it can make a regular match damage even more potent um, at higher levels. At level 5, increases by 30% uh, for each AP in that color. So that just makes um, huge damage potentially, um, <clears throat> depending on who you're paired with and how you manage your ability usage. The only one I don't have is her green, which I feel is uh, one of the more uh, strong abilities. Uh, actually, if you have at least uh, more AP than the enemy in at least four colors, creates critical. If you have more AP than the enemy in five colors, also deals damage every turn. Um, and then if you're against uh, you know, AI, uh, the goons who use abilities very frequently, it's very easy to stack AP higher than them in multiple colors, considering they tend to only have uh, two or uh, two colors or maybe three that they're potentially using. Um, so I'm happy with that. Not so much the Invisible Woman. Um, we'll add that Gambit since we're sitting here up to 190, take a little ISO boost. And then, uh, before we finish, I'm going to claim our Shield Rank 104, which I've been waiting patiently to make this video for. Uh, 52 and a half thousand ISO. That'll help towards a uh, new four-star champion, which hopefully is coming soon. Yet to be determined who that's going to be. But... Um, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope this video was informative, insightful, and enjoyable uh, for you. If it was, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and the notification bell next to that will give you instant YouTube notifications when videos like this get posted. You can sub on my Twitch as well, and my Twitter links for that are both down in the description below, as well as to my fellow Alliance mates, Artem and John Media, who post uh, frequently on Marvel Puzzle Quest on YouTube, and then Kill Power, who um, also does Twitch streams daily for Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, lots of information, especially if you're in three-star land, he's really good. Um, check out his Twitch channel as well. Until next time, as always, this has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody have a great weekend. Be safe on St. Patrick's Day if you're going out. Get a DD, a designated driver, or um, take an Uber or a taxi or something. Um, last thing we need is for anybody to be stupid and be out there getting hurt. So um, enjoy yourselves, have fun, be safe, and 
I'll catch you in the next video.